So we're here at Daytona. It's been quite a couple of days. We got in here late yesterday. We had about two days worth of work to do in a half a day. We're supposed to be out again today, but as you can see out there, ain't happening. Day one, we had a lot of rain. It was kind of crazy. We weren't really sure when we were going to get out there. That doesn't look good, does it? That looks terrible. Did you guys ride together? He, yeah, the first two laps when we first went out, oh, it's okay. like, he was like, hey, like waving at me. Hi! I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you showing me around? <laughs> you good luck this weekend. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Andy Debrino, everybody. There she blows, dude. Little Which bit, is yeah. probably the secret of these things. I mean, I was thinking if we connected the neck, to the swing arm with something across the frame, they're gonna get maybe a little bit stiffer. I mean, the motor's a stressed member, but what it's gonna do to when you lean the thing over. Almost there. Like, oh, there's magic in it. Yep, there could be. Maybe. Seeing the bagger class grow in like the last few years, it's crazy. Who would ever thought like bagger class is like one of the hit classes in Moto America. From Daytona, when those lights go off, we're rolling. Clutches are out. Kyle Wyman with a wheel in the air. Look at the right part of your screen. That's Tyler O'Hara coming from the back of the grid. Jason, what a start that he got. Coming now Here to the goes. white flag. I second believe. place change. And there goes Tyler O'Hara into second. And look at him just reeling him in. Checkered flag is out. We're going to the final line. And oh, there it is. For the race win, O'Hara with a perfectly timed move race win. You know, we're riding two classes this weekend and I'm taking advantage of the opportunity to basically maximize my track time. Woo! Do you remember what sprocket was on that bike? 41. Six. There we go. This gets race wheels tonight. Yeah, so this thing will be, I think it's 430 now, so it should be at 420. Oh, yeah, yeah, the wheels are, gonna, yeah, yeah. wheels are gonna be like, oh, you only like 420, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, all right, all right. It's the secret some, number. Right now, that wheel, yeah. you can test fit it on that bike. Okay. Tyler was fastest on the FTR this morning, so it was great to be able to get out there. The FTRs are fast, they're working really good. Rennie, we did a gearing change, doing a little bit of modification, a little bit of suspension mods as well. The first race of the Super Hooligans Championship 2022 is go! Great start from Andy Debrino from the front of the grid. And there in the back of the picture, look at Tyler O'Hara. He's already passed six or seven guys into turn one. Roland Sands, he's doing it again. <laughs> Tyler's no joke. My heart is racing right now. And here comes Tyler O'Hara already up into fifth position. This yeah. is not just a single oh. race. Oh, he is really trying hard now. Keeps the front wheel on. Manages to somehow keep that bike on two wheels. Tyler O'Hara has got in front of Nate Kern. The win. One more lap. It's not going to happen to Brino. Looks over his shoulder. Oh, That's a fatal over. mistake. That is a fatal mistake, surely, because it's going to be Corey West now that he's going to get the slingshot. West hits the front, or has De Brino timed this right? No, I think he's. I think that's a mistake. Why did he look over his shoulder? Or is it? Here we go. And now De Brino is going to get the slipstream, and here comes Tyler O'Hara as they head towards the line. De Brino is going to slipstream for the win. It is going to be the win, and here comes Tyler O'Hara across the line. We go less than a second, covering the top three. We had Tyler O'Hara finish third, almost won that damn Super Hooligan race from the back of the grid. We had a, little, a couple of issues at the beginning. We had to start from the back, but it actually worked out in favor because uh, we ended up running out of gas on the on the cooldown lap. Just to be on the podium at Daytona is so special. You know how they feel, bro. Like, they come here, never been here before, and they get to ride around this place. To come out here during the Daytona 200 with the Super Hooligans and ride my Harley, how stoked could you be? No matter what you think of any of it, when you drive through the tunnel, it's like, whoa. Daytona is a whole different animal. I love this track. I've never topped my bike out in six gear. I got to do that yesterday. There's nothing like it, dude. There's a reason why we put up with all this shit. <laughs> it's amazing. The high banks, the track, everything here, you, you can't beat it. You don't go any, any faster anywhere else in the country on a Harley. Race winner from yesterday. Doesn't have to come from back of the grid. He's got the best shot into turn number one. Mission King of the Baggers, race number two is underway. You know, this place is so big that it can be sprinkling in certain spots of the racetrack and not in others. Now, we did have heavy rain here this morning. That's delayed our program quite a bit, but it blew out of here. Don't seem to be affected by the couple raindrops, Jay. We can tell from yeah. them just going over the paint. 
Look how fast that Indian is. Bobby Fong on that Roland Sands designed Indian challenger. And it's got to be Fong who takes over the lead. The high banks of Daytona. Fong going to try to go for it again. Up the inside he goes, asking for maximum lean angle. Oh, a little wide for McWilliams. So he leaves the door open. Fong, such a tight line. Amazing you can do it on these Mission King of the Baggers motorcycles. Nobody really interested in the draft at the moment. Here comes McWilliams. He comes down off the banking. Tyler O'Hare is in a good spot. Now they start to suck in Bobby Fong. They're going to go by on both sides. And there they go to the line we go. Checkered flag is out. And it's going to be Jeremy, Jeremy McWilliams, McWilliams who holds off Tyler O'Hara for the win by 25 thousandths of a second. We finished on the podium three times this weekend. It's just such an honor to be out here riding and rolling sands and the whole crew for putting this together. Give me this opportunity, man. I'm having fun and really enjoying myself. Bobby Fong coming up finishing third in the bagger race. Before riding the bike, I didn't have much respect for him. It's like, ah, you're just like out there on a cruiser, but like, you're hauling on that thing. Like the thing's moving around. You actually got to ride those things pretty damn hard. So, I mean, I have a complete new respect for those things. And then we had Rennie Skaysbrook, number one in the Mission Foods air-cooled V-twin American Challenge. So I'd never ridden on banking before. First time we hit it, that was a pretty cool pinch me kind of moment. You get to see the famous Daytona ripping up past your right arm, and yeah, that was that was real fun. It's like the corner that never ends. It has been an absolutely insane weekend filled with every type of twist and turn you could imagine out of Daytona. I have never been through what I've been through the last couple days. It's just like taking a 12 hour day and smashing it into four hours. Thank you guys for watching the madness and following us on this journey with Super Hooligan and with the Mission Foods, King of the Baggers here at Moto America. What an incredible weekend. Thanks for watching.